Happy weekend, South and Christian Fellowship. It's great to be able to chat with you today on this Saturday. The snow seems to be melting a little bit slower, but it's quite bright out, the sun's out. It's a good day for rejoicing and worshiping Jesus. And I just want to encourage you um, today just to spend some time just seeking his face, drawing close to him, the encouragement to fix our eyes on him. And whatever you're doing today, um, or this week, whenever you, you listen to this, just create the time to spend with him, to draw close to him. He is the author and the perfecter of our faith. He is our creator. He's the one that loves you more than anyone else. And when we spend time in his presence, it changes us. It changes our perspective. It changes our understanding. Um, and it gives us that sense of hope and joy, um, that desire for life. Life starts to flow out of his presence. So just my encouragement is to, to spend some time today just drawing close to him. We're looking forward to tomorrow, uh, another opportunity in church, online or, or in person, to be able to come and to worship the wonderful God that we, we love and we serve. And I'm looking forward to being able to see you either online or, or in person, as I say, tomorrow. Um, just encourage you to check out our news sheet for the week. Um, it's on our website if you don't get it um, direct to yourselves but there's loads of stuff happening over the next couple of weeks which we'd love you to be involved in we'd love you to connect to them. we've got transforming Essex happening at the end of the month we've got a church meeting happening an opportunity for us to draw together and just find out some of the stuff we've got planned as a community of people over the next few months so look try and engage in that wherever possible but today I just want to take a few moments. We had Robin Lizzie on a leadership development um, call last night on Zoom and there was a number of us just listening to them being inspired about what it means to, to lead um, in the kingdom, to lead in the world, to lead in church in 2021, um, how the pandemic and how the, the situation that we find ourselves in is affecting and changing leadership and how we need to be responding to the circumstances we find ourselves in to in order to make sure that we are still flowing with grace and mercy and the goodness of God, that we can be the influences that we're called to be in this season. And um, towards the end of the time of them sharing, um, they just shared this prophetic picture, this simple prophetic picture about how SCF was morphing from a cruise liner to a battleship. And I just want to share that with you today because you know, this this year, since the turn of the year, we've been looking at the early chapters of Acts again and, and how the um, t the early church, how the disciples, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to breaking the bread and to prayer. And just as Robin Lizzie shared this word about SEF morphing from a cruise liner to, to a battleship, I just, I just like, felt like God said, yep. Yeah, we are to call to be a people in this season that are devoting ourselves to prayer. And I just want to read with you a scripture that they also shared with us last night from Ephesians 6. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to take to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can distinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And the next verse says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the, all the Lord's people. And I just want us to reflect on that last verse, actually, this moment. And my encouragement is, that we become a people that pray in the Spirit on all occasions. With all kinds of prayers and requests. And, you know, we're quite a, a mixed group of people at, at South End Christian Fellowship. We have different styles, different preferences about how we pray. And all of that is actually quite irrelevant. The key issue is that we become a people that pray. That we become a people that devote ourselves to prayer. And our encouragement to you this weekend is to stand with one another. 
to pray in the Spirit on all occasions with whatever kinds of prayers and requests you have, but to stand and to stand together and to call on God, being alert of what's around, but to pray for one another, to pray for our town, to pray for our county, to pray for the nations of the earth, that we will see an increase of his kingdom coming, an increase of his will being established, that the places that we are, the communities that we're involved in, will start to look increasingly like heaven, that the will of God will be unfolded in our time, in our midst, and in our surroundings, that we will be an apostolic people, called to bring heaven to earth, increasingly convinced that in his presence everything becomes possible. So this weekend, I just encourage you to find someone, Zoom them, WhatsApp them, FaceTime, pick up the phone. I don't mind how you do it, but let's be the people that stand together and call on the name of the Lord. Because as we do that, we see an increase of his kingdom come and the establishing on on his will on earth as it is in heaven. Let's be a people that devote ourselves to pray. God bless you well. Take care.